All right, so we've got our two groups here. If we make this blue, make this red, change the edit display to the circle, so you can see it a bit better. All right, we go down to emitter, drop in our two groups, so they're both applied, they're both in use, make sure they're ticked. If you turn off dark, that will stop working. And there you are. You can already see these groups in play because we've got blue particles and we've got red particles. Why we define them here. All right. We also want two different trails as well as a result. So we're going to assign a group per trail, which means to create another trail, if you hold down control. I'll copy a trail, you can call this one bright, call this one dark, pop in the emitter, although that's really done because we copied it. But if we're in bright, we go groups affected, group here, this is where we drop in our bright, and in dark, we drop in our dark. There we go. And you can do this as many times as you want if you want to have really art direct each spline. I'm only going to do two because it's just easier that way. There we are. Okay. And from there what do we do? So let's just leave it to here. We want to deform these splines to create this undulating effect. So this is where we get a displacer deformer, shift C displacer, or go up here and get the displacer. I like typing in because it's quicker that way. Drop it under bright, for example. So we just want to affect bright. Now nothing's happening because it's got no data to pick from as to how to deform this thing. So go into shading drop in a noise and you can instantly see something's happening. It is displacing all the trails that are assigned to the bright group. Now we don't want them horizontally. We want it more, well, actually sort of operating on the Y axis. So we just go here, go to direction, planar, and change this to plus Y. So now you can see It is generating a displacement on the Y. Okay. Now, what I have discovered, you can just copy this, what I have discovered is a really great way to get this sort of sense of water or water movement is using the gaseous noise. Make creating an animation speed here. If you right click on this little thumbnail and you go animate, you can see what's happening here. If I have this to one, you kind of get this really nice sort of flow in here. And if you up the cycles, you can see that it increases the contrast between those moments, which is kind of what we want. Increase the scale to about 500 here let's say you can already see these nice undulating moments here which are animated so that's cool that's what we want now the lines are still a bit jaggy so what we can do is change the spline quality like we can with a normal spline here if we go to object spline we can change this to a bezier and change the subdivisions to natural and instantly we get this really cool thing. Now, you can play around with these noises to live long day. Maybe we can up this to about 1500. Cool. And look at that. We slow this down to two. We've got far more subtle, calm, undulating texture here. We up this to two. If we want to increase the height of displacement, we go back to our displacer object, 
and increase this to 50, say if we want to go completely mad. There we are. Look at that, that's really cool. Now I've got it here so that it sort of stops at a point. So it's being clipped. That's really simple. We just quite literally clip it within the noise. Bring down the high clip and you can see what's happened there. If I was bringing down the low clip, it would happen at the bottom. So you can kind of get a limit to it, which is also quite a cool look. Kind of looks like sound waves. Cool. So, but what I've done is, although I look, I'm just going to take uh, this this base that I created originally for it, rather than just go through each and every one of them. If you hold down Shift, ooh, Control, sorry, Control V, paste that back in there. I have layered a series of noises. So in this one, I've got the gaseous, which cycles up to two scaled it up contrast a bit up as well i've overlaid a normal noise to get these sort of more interstitial uh, deformities i've done the same by multiplying that on top of that and finally to get a sort of secondary movement going through it like a ripple i've used semmer which has these really lovely sort of sweeping curves for it There we are. Hope that wasn't too quick for you. Cool. Okay. So you're probably wondering why I didn't just use normal splines. Just draw a straight spline and then deform it. Draw a straight spline, clone it, and then deform it from there. Well, the problem with that is if we go to a new file very quickly and I drew a spline. in there. Let's do this very quickly so I won't go into the details. Is if I was to put that same deformer in down it's affecting hang on we need to make this spline natural here we are let's up this number it's affecting each spline individually rather than taking eight spline and using that as a canvas we don't want that You want it to treat the thing as a whole, which is what it's doing here. Now, what you could do here is just then bake this down. Connect these and then do that, which would then work. But that would mean baking it down and it's no longer procedural and we don't want that. So here we are. So once we've got this thing working, you can then just create more and more and more of these. So that will just kind of multiply that effect there. But if you don't, if you want it to affect both equally, which is kind of what I've done, we can just drop it under because this kind of operates as a null. Drop it under and look. It's treating the whole thing like this. Look how simple that was. Now, to get this thing really working like we got in that video here, we can up this to about 150. So you've got this crazy, maybe even 200. Turn these two off. So you've got a load of lines here. And then what we want to do now is cache it. 
to let it go much much quicker because you can still deform it after it's cached so if you go into uh, utilities get an XP cache choose where you want to cache it so build a cache this will take a little while so we'll come back after this <laughs> 